All right, this is a review of Face to Face, The Art of Human Connection by Brian Grazer. Brian is a Hollywood producer, and he published this book because he does understand humans are not looking at each other anymore. They're lacking the social connections, being disconnected in an unconnected world. He promotes curiosity, listening, and eye contact, and not being ruined by Netflix, TV, porn, or Instagram scrolling. Simple remedy is read and go out into the real world. Brian does promote Hollywood and its culture since he is a producer. He will benefit from this book as stating, I am a connector. I will listen. He will use engagement and empathy, stories from the heart, and be careful of the posers. There are good stories in this book with big celebrities such as Eminem, Bill Gates, Prince, and networking tips. And it's easy when you are famous. The social proof is powerful. During this video, I'm going to show just one quote because I'm a big fan. I really like these environmental philosophers such as Ralph Waldo Emerson and Thoreau. And I can threaten like a loaded and leveled gun or I can insult like hissing or kicking or in its altered mood by beams of kindness. It can make the heart dance for joy. It's face to face. Look people in the eye. It is a lost art. There is way too much screen time. Are we connecting or are we social animals? Here's a good Oprah quote. What we're all striving for is authenticity, a spirit to spirit connection. Recognize being in the zone, flow state like in surfing is heavy game and being in the moment of the zone, a maximum connection, a genuine one. Some youth will have problems because they're addicted to video games. Some of the weak parts of this book is that it concerns Hollywood, popularity, they're not the best people on the planet. Influence, yes, but they're not to be taken seriously. And by writing this book, there is a I listen, I care for you. Now I'll produce this film for my price, my way, my prerogative. He has an agenda. And I don't like saying his name because he has the same name as me. And this book could be used for communication, other business deals, whether it be for business or politics. I do recommend reading this book once. It does have very good stories. You are better off reading other books and listening to the advice I have to offer that is sincere or even trolling. The organization and the concept of this book is great, especially during this time. At the end of the day, go out and communicate. Look people in the eyes. And remember that Brian Grazer's a Hollywood producer. He has political friends as well, so he has an agenda. Some other books you could read are Crucial Conversations, Emotional Intelligence, and Social Intelligence by Dino Goldman, Shallows by Nicholas Carr, which I do highly recommend for tech, and basically books that helped me when I was younger that I struggled with. The Fine Art of Small Talk, How to Start a Conversation, Keep It Going, Build Networking Skills, and Leave It a Positive Impression by Deborah Fine. And How to Start a Conversation and Make Friends by Don Gabor. As well as I say in other videos is Cold Approach. Go out and take action. You can get ad block, YouTube Premium, and Amazon Prime does block Twitch ads. I noticed in some of my user interfaces. Don't just look away. And Derek's stories are great. At least give it a chance. Read and have less BS screen time. In the digital world, just make less comments on people who don't reply, especially on Instagram. Copy pastas for the trolls. No thirst. Watch out for the marketing. Understand how they say things, what they say in the comment below. And when you leave an opinion, are they even responding or reading it? And I found out about this guy through Gary Vaynerchuk. I'll post a link down below. 